Hello everyone, it's uh, December uh, 23rd, uh, it's a Wednesday in Houston, Texas, two days before Christmas. Uh, I hope everybody is doing great today. I hope uh, you're making the money and you're crushing it and you're killing it, okay? So uh, this is a recap of my uh, portfolio here today. As you see, I'm not doing very well today. I'm down 4.98, almost 5%, which is okay. It's almost uh, 5,000, uh, 14,000. $15,000 actually, yeah. So I'm fine with that because if you look at the week here, I'm still up uh, 32%, 70% in profits. 70, I mean $1,000 in profits. For the month, I'm still up, as you see here on the screen, 91. Three months, I'm crushing it. And for the year, I'm $333,000. Remember, my goal was uh, to make $300,000 profits by the end of the year, uh, which I did way more than that, so I passed my target and or goal. So, and all of you might ask me why? Why, why do you have? Uh, why does it say all time three hundred thirty three, but your value is two eighty five? You know what? Right? I, I I withdraw money. You know, I withdrew a lot of money. I withdraw like ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifteen here and there. You know, every time I make money, and then when I sell, I get the cash. I invest. I take some of it to the bank, and then I invest the rest. So. Uh, like right now, I can't take any cash out, as you see, because I only have $77 of buying power, uh, which means that I don't have any cash. But uh, uh, I mean, I can show you. What did, oh, it's not going to show it. It was shared here. Let me see. Transfer. Uh, where do I go to show the transfer history? Uh, here, I guess. Account statements. No, it's not this. Uh, I don't know. How to do that? Yeah, I, I don't know. Transfers. Yeah, so look at this here, guys. Uh, withdraw to personal account, 9,500. Uh, then withdraw $8,000, withdraw $5,000, withdraw $50,000, withdraw $22,000. So see, I'm, look, look, withdraw. Uh, here, I, it looks like I, I did it and I canceled the $50,000. Withdraw $2,500. Withdraw $5,000. Withdraw $10,000. Withdraw $5,000. Withdraw $6,000. And look at the days, man. Sometimes I just do a lot of them in one day. And, you know, a lot of withdrawals, as you see, you know. So, uh, you know, that's how I do it. You know, that's why my portfolio is, um, is less than my profits, obviously, because I've been taking a lot of money out, you know. Uh, so anyway, so back to uh, our uh, portfolio here. Look, it went up a little bit. So I was down 15, now I'm down 13. So that's good. Uh, it did this last, yesterday, did this the last like 15 minutes. Jumi, I went crazy. So let's see what's going to do now. Let me see what's going up here. Yep. Nope. Yeah. All of everything is going up. So it's good. Uh, I just uh, wish that Fubo comes back a little bit. But it's okay. I will come back. Um, but anyway, this is what uh, I have, guys. Uh, I hope everybody is doing uh, great here. I just want to touch up on one topic that people always ask me. I've got a lot of questions. A lot of you ask me, hey, what is a good price to enter or to create a position or to buy a stock? What's a good price? Um, unfortunately, guys, this question is very complicated. Uh, if you believe that a stock is growing, you want to buy it as soon as possible. You don't want to wait. I promise you, I've done it many times and I've made a lot of mistakes. Even Jumia, this Jumia that you see that I have a lot of money of, what is it? I have tons of, I mean, I made probably, what is it? I made, like, look, I'm already at $75,000 and 92. I'm already at 160000 just from Jumia. So, see the stock Jumia over here? It was at $12 at one time. And then I wanted to, Consider, I considered it, but I said, no, let me wait until it goes down a little bit. It went up to 13, went up to 14, went up to 16. It kept going, guys. And you know what? Finally, finally, I bought it at $23. And then I bought it again at $33. So then I go back and say, man, I know I wanted to buy it under 12, but I, then, then, when, then when it was 20, I was thinking, man, I would have bought it at 15. See? See, this, see the, the, the way I'm, 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 I was thinking? You know, I just missed the party between 12 and 18 or 12 and 20. You know, I could have had a price entry there, but I said no, because I wanted to drop under 12 and it never dropped. All I did was just creating more, you know, uh, you know, increasing my cost on this. But right now I go back and say, I wish I got it at 12. I wish I got at 13. I would have probably had double the profits that I have right now. So that's how you should think. Why? Because this is a stock that's growing now. 
If you want to enter a stock or a company that has a stock that is steady, let's say, let's say for example, um, give me a steady stock. Let's, let's go a company. Let's go, for example, to let's go AT and T. See what AT AT and T does. Uh, week, month. Okay, yeah. Look, look, look for AT and T. Look, it's a boring company. It's one point zero five for the month. So this kind of stock, see, if you look at the three months average, yes, you wanna buy, uh, you wanna wait for the entry because you would have bought it at here. I'm going to do this. See, it was twenty six dollars in October, uh, October, right? Twenty seventh. Now it's twenty eight. So for this stock, it's okay to wait for a dip because it's a, it's a steady stock. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a saturated, it's established stock. It's not gonna go anywhere. Plus, it's not gonna give you any. A lot of money anyway, a lot of returns. So these are the kind of stocks that you wait for the for a dip. It's called a dip or well, let me wait, let me wait for the price to drop down so I can buy it. But this these are big companies. I mean, this company is 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 is, is two hundred five billion dollars. So this is the kind of uh, thing I'm trying to tell you. Do not wait for a dip if you believe that the company is going is growing. So you all know that those stocks that I always talk about. These are always all grown companies. They are technology. They are e-commerce. They are uh, EV. Uh, they are, you know, all grown stocks. So you do not want to wait for a dip. You want to enter as soon as possible because I promise you, you're going to come back. You're going to say, I wish I, 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 I entered two weeks ago and not waited for a dip, right? Because we're going to miss the party. So that's my, uh, uh, you know, two cents here. You know, this is my strategy. This is, you know, my style. That's how I do it. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, anyway, everybody, I hope you guys uh, uh, end up the day with uh, great uh, uh, returns. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a short day. The market is going to close at one o'clock because of uh, Eastern time. Obviously, here in Houston is going to be probably noon um, because of uh, holidays. Uh, all of you uh, have great holidays. Merry Christmas and be safe. Peace, guys.